This video hits 100,000 likes, then I'll go get rice. You can check the statistics on that one. I don't even care anymore. Good morning, hey yo, what's good, it's your boy Wolfie. Welcome back to more Wolfie guys. Today, I'm gonna be starting off this vlog with literally the exact same outfit I wore in yesterday's vlog. I'm starting it in the same outfit because I just ended yesterday's vlog off. If you haven't seen it, link in the description, go check it out. It's my reaction and all the boys' reaction to the diss track. Also, smash the like button, let's hit 40,000 likes on this vlog for absolutely no reason. Partially because I did a diss track and if you hit more likes, it'll motivate me to do another diss track. Anyways, the common formula I've been seeing with YouTube diss tracks nowadays. A lot of the people did it. Rice Gum always does it. Sidemen have done it when they drop their diss tracks. They get people to react to it and then they get their take to just react to it. You know, sit down one on one with their diss track. Explain why some of the bars are written the way they are. Because a lot of people might not understand a lot of the lyrics that we're saying in the song. So I'm here to like kind of break it down like how Genius does. Except I'm not Genius. I'm Wolfie. I'm a savage. And I'm just going to go through the song with you and explain what everything means. What me and Ryan were trying to say. You know all that. So without further ado, I'm just going to start the diss track up. If you guys haven't heard it enough, link in the description of that. Go check it out. Leave a like on that. Go comment on that. Let's start the vlog off with some reaction by the creator himself. Yo, Ryan. Yo. Yo, don't you think it was kind of whack that these guys couldn't even get big shots? Yeah, bro, we got Should I call God. Facts. So before the track even begins, I'm like, yo, Ryan, how are these mans gonna put Big Shaq, his name in the title? I mean, we get clickbait, I'm the clickbait god, I clickbait all the time. But we were literally promised that Big Shaq was gonna come on the track. Like, he had a video saying Big Shaq was gonna be on the track. He actually FaceTimed Big Shaq, he met up with him in person. So we had us thinking that Big Shaq was gonna be on the track, and I was like, Shit. If Big Shaq's gonna be on a track, like, I'm decently big, but, like, Rice is really big and he's known for diss tracks, so, like, we're gonna have to get Rice. But then when we figured out that Big Shaq wasn't on the diss track, I was like, hey, if these don't even want to put Big Shaq in the diss track, then we, like, we don't need Rice in the diss track. Why don't we just use his name in the title just like they did? Same formula. That's a shot on its own, except not have him. And have him for, like, two sneak peek because in their song, they're like, nose long like garden hose. So I'm just like, hey, if we just get Rice saying his keyword irrelevant, then we technically can feature him in the diss track. Anyways, that's, that, the song hasn't even begun yet, but that's the explanation for that. Man's not hot, not hot. Say man's not hot, really if you think about it. In a month or so, man's not hot. Benz is cold. Bruh, 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 your act is getting old. Nigga been off road safe. Can you give a nigga back his flow? Okay, quickly explaining that line. Basically, Roll Safe is another like comedian slash rapper who kind of did like the same get up as Michael Dapper did with his uh big shack character. And he was on fire in the booth. People are saying he robbed his character from Roll Safe. And then the first part of the line just means if you actually think about it, okay, man's is hot right now, but in a month or so, is he really gonna be like that hot? No, because memes die off. Anyways. That's where he was on. You're not. Cause you're probably not gonna get as many. That's what I'm talking about. That was a double entendre on your head top. Like low key, cause a lot of you guys know from my why I don't rap it anymore video way back in the day. One of the reasons I stopped rapping is because like these videos that were doing really well for me, like these comedy based videos were doing really well and they were popping. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna follow that formula. I'm gonna do what's working. Because I started off as a rapper, like a rapper, I guess you could say. And the rapping was not cutting it for me. And it's not that I'm not like a not a hard worker. Obviously I'm a hard worker, but I wanted to get to where I wanted to be faster. So I switched it up, did the comedy videos, and they got me more views. Same for Big Shaq, except the opposite way around. He's a comedian. I don't know if a lot of you guys know that, but apparently he's a comedian. And Big Shaq is one of his many characters, so shout out to him. But those weren't getting the love, okay? They weren't getting the views that he deserved. So he switched to Big Shaq, Fire on the Booth, and became a rapper. So it was the exact opposite for him. But fun fact, he actually is a comedian. Real name right there. You get views. Ask me. He thinks I'm scared of him. You're funny. You guys know ZS, best reaction channel on YouTube. Honestly, better than me. I love ZS. Be loose, ZS! You already know what the fuck it is. These guys are the goats. Pause. Best line. You a big bitch. I do? You got a fire You got a bigger one, bro. Men's didn't help out his boy. Men's like Erica Costo hits him. I'm here to teach you a lesson. Man them of disrespect. Wolfie get dismissed. Use the word man them because, you know, these guys are from the UK. They're using some UK slang. I know some UK slang. And a lot of people know Erica Costell, the Costellers, okay? Team 10 gal as Snake bitch. This is because Keemstar calls her Snake bitch. 
So I was just like, yo, Big Shaq didn't even hop on the track to help out his so-called boy, Asni. So he snaked them. So I was just like, yo, double hit. I'm gonna fire at Erica a bit and fire at Big Shaq in one line. I love the chorus. With the Lord is my witness, take this out, you the miss. The reason I called it Check the Statistics is because it's his line again. Hot. Check the statistics. My car higher than yours. Proof if you check the statistics. With the Lord is my witness. Take this L. You hold the L now. I don't hold the L. Right, gonna snip it. <laughs> Ryan coming in for this. This was lit. I love the shots in this video, guys. That's an inside joke. Do you know where Ryan Swayze? You guys know that one. Exposed. This is personal shots. Because he calls himself Itsy Meshi, but he's like, it's just Itsy Bitch, bro. Facts. Facts. I want. I literally can't stop pausing just because there's so many reasons for why we chose the lines. Me and Ryan were literally sitting in the car thinking of the diss tracks lines on the way to the studio, and we were like, okay, hey, yo, what can we fire at Sean? Like, there's not much wrong that Sean does, but I do know, like, his favorite YouTuber is Mini Minter. I do know that for a fact. And I was just like, yo, Ryan's like, yo, he's a mini, mini, mini minter, or like a mini, mini minter. And I was like, yo, if we put it in the song, you a mini, 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 mini minter, it's gonna hit super hard. So it's like boosting him, because it's, it's like, it's a hard shot to take in, because it's like telling someone, look at your idol, you'll never be your idol. <laughs> like, you're way smaller than them. So that was that shot. Listen, Chad with a J. Chad, you have to Let's go and talk about views. Chad, let's go have a peek. His real name is Chad, by the way. Not Jad. So call him Chad, guys. We love that. Back. Big nigga. As she finishes his DIY. Oh. Jeez. Jeez. We're big, but y'all bigger. Y'all just some giant dudes. Before you guys go down and comment and hate, be like, oh my God, stop fat shaming. We're not fat shaming. A, we're boys. We love Bongo to death. B, they came on us and our weights. They used to bench three plates, now you weigh three plates. So it's like, okay, if you can dish it out, you better be able to fucking handle dishing it in, my n because that's the way we're coming back to your head top. Can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. Don't fire shots if you cannot handle them. So I was just like, yo, big he actually finishes his DIY giant foods. You guys think we throw them out? He actually just keeps them in his room and eats them for the next, like, honestly, one day, because he can finish it in one day. I love you, Mongo. <laughs> The that was a joke, by the way. Than yours. Proof if you check the statistics. That is very, very true. The Lord is my witness. Take this out, you the misfits. Rice gum said you're irrelevant. Facts. Check the statistics. Pencils hot, hot, hot. Check the statistics. Check them. Those ad libs. I love these locations, guys. Holy shit. The Lord is my witness. Take this out, you the misfits. You guys know what to do, smash the like button on the video and this video. 100k, go get rice. This is just me being on my cocky sh This was a setup for Dave coming in the trap? I'm nutty! That's David's like claim to fame line. He says it all the time, you guys know David Parody. I'm nutty! I was like, how can I line it up so that he can be in the video? Because he was in their video for like a split second. I'll show you guys the clip right now. He's going like this, he's doing his Big Dick Dave post. So I was like, hey, if they're gonna have Dave in the video, we gotta have Dave in the video too. Let's get him saying his main line. Here we go. Facts. It's like, don't worry about me. Thugging. Jeez. I could go on forever, I'll reframe. Facts. Check them. Okay, so that is like pretty much the whole song. The chorus just repeats for one more time. But all in all with this video, I'm super impressed. Huge shout out to Max. Uh, Max, I'll leave like his link in the description. He's the guy that filmed and edited this. Shout out to Steph. Um, Steph was in the vlogs, in the previous vlogs. He mixed and mastered like everything. We brought him the beat that we found on YouTube. It took us like an hour to find, which shout out to whoever made this beat. I'll leave you in the description as well because this beat is heat. Literally when me and Ryan found this, we were like, okay, this is the one. After hearing the beat, it probably took us like six, and a half hours to like write the rap like one night because we wrote the rap the night that we got diss track because we didn't know we were gonna get diss track it literally hit us from nowhere but i was like screw it wolfie rap still got a bit of rap in it. i'm gonna come back with some heat so we came back with that um took a while to mix and master just because we wanted like some gunshots you know make it sound harder like that in the track layering voices and whatnot that took a while but i was there um pretty much the whole time steph was there doing that just because i'm super picky when it comes to this shit. 
I was like, nah, we gotta change that, change that, put that there, whatever. But shout out to Steph, because he killed it. The locations, literally we shot this video in like five or six hours. My favorite location was probably the one on the street with the slow-mos. Like, I'm gonna play a few clips. These are heat clips, guys, if you like check these out. Also, we had a warehouse, so we went in the two rooms, brought my car in one room, and then in the other room, me and Ryan were just gooning out together. Then we even had a drone shot at the start on top of uh, the building. We got on top of some building, so that was dope. Outfit changes, so it was legit. The edits, the scribbles on some Justin Bieber shit, guys. But yeah, that is basically what a lot of the lines mean in the song. Some subtle shots that you guys didn't even hear about. We strategically made this. We were like, okay, hey. initially when we heard the diss track, we were like, shit. Like, Albo dissed us, Asni dissed us. We are like, okay, hey, who are we gonna fire at? And I was like, okay. Hey. Honestly, it would make most sense if I came at Big Shaq, because A, he didn't come on the track, so he deserves to get hit a bit with the heat. And B, yeah, Big Shaq has a song with 60 million views, but man's is kind of dying off hot. No, no hate. But I was like, yo, I could come at him when he's on a little bit of a down. It's gonna hit him that much harder. Maybe he'll make a response to it. Who knows, I don't know. But I was like, I'm gonna focus more on Big Shaq because I wanna go with the big boys and then Ryan and me will write some lines but Ryan I want you to deliver some hard lines on, on, on the album boys ask me we were like eh doesn't really matter we're focused on what we were focused on also Chad's actual name is Jad but you guys call him Chad it pisses him off so friggin much that's like one of the shots that everybody that meets him thinks his name is Chad but it's actually Jad so I was just like yo even though it didn't seem as hard that line specifically I know dug under his skin but no I think everything the final product everything came together so well I fucking love the way it looks Ryan loved the way it looks when he first saw it now for something special because I promised you guys something special in the last video. I want to go over what could have been. This is the fourth verse. Now you guys are probably wondering what the fourth verse is. Fun fact! Fun fact guys. Smash the like button before I tell you this. But you guys know my boy Omar, the boy's boy Omar. Omari Mids as they call him now. He is now a singer. He raps on the side. He makes music in general. Basically when this is like exclusive information, some uh, behind the scenes Apparently, before the boys came with the rap, they were struggling, okay guys? Yeah, I'm gonna expose these guys. These guys had equal opportunity to get the same person who shot it and the same person who edited our sound. They had the opportunity. They had more time. We weren't coming out their neck. People weren't expecting something from them. So they had all the time in the world. Okay guys, they had all the time in the world. But now they're hating that we got professionally shot and professionally mastered. But it's like, bro, you guys had the same opportunity. Anyways, that's beside the point. Anyways, Omar, Omari Mids. They were panicking at the beginning. They didn't know who, to, who could write. I no, Jad can write his own bars. Sean could not write. Like, that's out of the question. Bongo can kind of spit. So I was like, who the hell like was writing their shit? Apparently, they reached out to Omar at the start. And they were like, yo, Omar, can you can you help us out? Blah, blah, blah. So I'm just gonna go through my phone and get this song. Omar literally wrote almost a full song on me. Sorry if there's like heavy bass um, there, guys. But um, it's because the guys are upstairs turning up because we're going out for Bongo's birthday tonight. Bye! Omar wrote like a full song, so I'm gonna play the fourth verse. This is technically the fourth verse because I thought everything was gonna be over after this. Maybe they'll fire back. I don't even know if I'll fire back. We'll think about it. Maybe 100,000 likes and I'll go get rice. You can check the statistics. Who knows, to be honest, but all I know is that Omar wrote them something and I've heard a bit of it. I haven't heard all of it, but I do know there is like two lines in there that are actually heat and they should have used it. They said they didn't use it because they wanted to hold back, but it's like, I don't even think that's the reason. I just think Omar wrote it after too late and then you guys are like, Shit. but you played yourself. So listen to these lyrics, guys. My head desperate for clout, you know Wolfie raps. Yeah, I know Wolfie raps. He's speaking like a UK Man's mon. Desperate, desperate for the clout. Desperate for clout. Desperate for the money, money, for the fame, the dollars. The clout. Man, you're desperate for clout. Clout. Don't have a doubt. Doubt. Left the girl for your dogs and your house. At home, speaking out. No biggest. This guy said you left your girlfriend, your dogs, and your house. Holy sh! He's coming at my head top. He's coming at my head top. Seventeen. That's where you're twenty-five. Oh. Ah, no. Stealing from rice, coming face. Yeah, stealing. stealing from rice, coming face. Back base. Sleeping beside Ryan's ways, that's a fish. Fish. Did you fit? You left your girlfriend back at the base. Now you're sleeping beside Ryan's ways, that's a fish. Oh my God, Omar's going off. Ryan Swayze, do you know who he is? He's the number one wolf at me, even makes all the same bids. Oh, yeah, shit. you're moving up your pop. Double but roast. Don't forget who taught ya. Don't you know that rice always tastes better with some sriracha? Okay, that line is heat. Yeah, you're moving up, you're popping, but don't forget who taught ya. Don't forget that rice always tastes better with sriracha. Holy shit, that's a heat line. Don't you I'll give that, that to Omar. Rice always tastes better with some sriracha. Oh, shit. <laughs> Up in the cloud house, they know that's a phase. It's a phase of my life. That's what he's saying. And phase banks, because phase banks live there. So he's like, it's like, holy shit, Omar actually went off. Up in the cloud house, they know it's a phase. Phase. Make no say 
Flash up on your face. face. Your hairline is never that straight. Never straight. How you be Gucci down 24 7 and still have the worst fashion taste? Oh my god, your hairline is never straight. How you been Gucci down, Gucci down 24 7 and still have no fashion taste? That is a line that I've been hit with a lot of people like, yeah, okay, he has money, blah, blah, blah. But like, he's still dressed like a mod bun. Honestly, I think my outfit's kind of swaggy tonight. Personally, the glasses, yeah, I already know. Changed up the hair. It's a new Wolfie, guys. It's a new Wolfie time, but that line, Omar. Fuck, that was heat. That was heat. You must be learning from Sway. Sway. Learn from Sway. It's okay. Sorry. Sorry, I had to expose. I didn't mean for this to ruin your day. Not gonna talk no more about how you left the dollars and cents. Your worst nightmare is when I'm calling you irrelevant. Oh my God. Wolfie, please don't come from a G S N E. You go beep 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 beep. Para pa boom, pa pa pee. Why is this guy doing some scat man ping? It'd be boop boop ba da ba. We got B D D and talking you here, boy. I'm not D. <laughs> I'm not D. He said, I'm not D. Okay, so that is the fourth verse for you guys. Honestly, rice gum tastes better with sriracha, heat line. The one where it's like, how you be Gucci down 24 seven, but still have no fashion taste. Banger line and the flow was lit on that one too. I would have loved to see personally Omar in that video. And no hate to the boys. I love them all to death at the end of the day. But I really do think they should have used some lines from Omar because like that would have helped them out. I think that some of the lines could have been readjusted a bit better. And even my lines that I did in the song, like they were rushed. They did, I did them in one day. I think they were fire, but I think they could have been fire, fire. I don't know if that's a word. Anyways, guys, enough for the diss tracks, guys. Why can we not just all love each other? It's 2017, okay? I don't want to do any more diss tracks anymore unless this video hits 100,000 likes. Then I'll go get rice. You can check the statistics on that one. I don't even care anymore. Comment down below whatever you want. Comment your thoughts on my diss track, their diss track. It doesn't matter because if it gets 100,000 likes, the world is going to explode. Hydrogen bomb shit. All my hydrogen bomb shit. But that's an explanation of the song. There's the fourth verse that has never been leaked to the internet. Literally, I told Omar to keep it on the low. I wanted to show you guys. There he is. Shout out to Omar. I'll leave his link in the description. Shout out to everybody. This has been super fun. Don't wait. Do not sleep on your boy Wolfie because they don't call me Wolfie Raps for no reason. Okay, that was whack as hell. Anyways, expect a normal vlog tomorrow, okay? I'm trying to have some fun tomorrow. You guys know. The vlogs are late every single day, though. Cop the merch if you have not already. WolfieRaps.com, link here, 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 bongo, here, 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 and here. 35% off, we are extending the Black Friday sale for like a few more days because you guys went so damn hard, so you deserve the sale. Go cop yourself some merch before it gets sold out. Seriously, Wolf Fam, it's going like right, right now. So you gotta go right now, okay? Go get your mom and dad, tell them you gotta go get it right now, right now. And I will see you guys soon on more Wolfie where we stay a little bit more savage on my main channel. And as always, stay savage. Let go.